Hey you, welcome to Not Sorry Love Lori. My name is Lori and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I cook sag paneer, which is, well, translates to spinach and paneer is this awesome cheese we're gonna cook, but um, I got a little story I kinda of wanna tell you as well. So this story starts on February 6th, 2019. I was deep in substance abuse and I had been up all night using and I was trying to think of ways to help my recovery and I decided to call my mom and talk to her about it. Now, I was not in the state of mind to harm myself or anybody else. I was just using, um, which is not just a just using, like that's a big deal, but I was not in an unstable place. However, my mom panicked. Suddenly my sister was involved and I hear that they're coming to my apartment and coming to talk to me and I was like, well, no, that's not part of my plan right now. So I'm not gonna open the door. Don't come to my house, please. Um, this was, it was just such a bizarre situation. However, they panicked. Suddenly the paramedics arrive at my door. My sister and mom had called 911 and told them that I wanted to end my life, even though I didn't. And they kept asking me and I told them, no, I'm not feeling like hurting myself. Yes, I am using, but I'm not delusional. I'm not in a place where I may harm other people or myself. However, paramedics show up at my door. And then the police arrive at my door telling me that they are here for a wellness check. And there was a psych nurse and there was a police officer and the paramedics and everybody. And they checked my vitals, talked to me and realized that yes, I was not sober, but I was not in a state to hurt myself or other people. So they said, we would let you stay. However, you have a history of wanting and trying to end your life. So we're gonna take you to the hospital anyways. And let me tell you, I was not very thrilled. Um, rode in the back of the cop car. We went to the emergency, waited two hours and I started sobering up. So I was feeling like crap. I was sweating, cold, irritable, tired, sore, like just, you know, yeah, it had been a long few days and I was sobering up and my mom and sister were repeatedly calling the hospital to see if I was there. And I told the hospital, I don't want my sister and mom to know where I am because they don't get the privilege of that after what happened. So I just thought, let them worry. Anyways, I was pretty upset. I was seen by the emergency doctor and they came back and handed me a form. So I had to stay up in the psych ward and be observed because they weren't sure of my mental status. And here's a photo of what they said. I started crying. I ended up talking to my psychiatrist who was actually working in Emerge that day. I knew her from before. I told her all about what I was going through. She realized I was not delusional, not hallucinating. It was okay for me to go home. And she dismissed the form that I received. She said, it's fine, don't worry, you can go home. And I was like, yes! Um, so anyways, I ended up getting to go home, but I wasn't given a ride home, nor was I given any sort of means to get home. So I had to take the subway back home, which was pretty shitty. It was in the middle of winter. Anyways, I have not really spoken to my sister at all. Um, it's hard for me to trust her as well as my mom. We have some relationship and we both love each other, but um, yeah, that was a really difficult time. Anyways, thanks for listening. Okay, time to try it. Oh, it looks so good. Mmm. Mm -mm. Next is giving it to a bra and seeing if he likes it, but I have a feeling he will. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, which is the bell. Go to my TikTok, it's not sorry, love Lori, and I stream there almost every day. So check it out and um, I'll see you guys in my next video.